In your race for power and glory, you forgot one small detail. We forgot to hook up the doll. You forgot to hook up the doll. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, they said it couldn't be done, but I'm going to show you that it can. I've got Fortnite working on the Raspberry Pi 5, and I'm going to show you how well it plays. So, to get this working, you're going to need to install the Chromium web browser. You can do this from the App Store, and you can do it from the command line. But all you have to do is go to the App Store and download and install Chromium. Once you've got Chromium, you need to go to GeForce Now. You can see which kind of memberships there are. Um, there's the free one, which is what I'm using today. Uh, it's a basic rig, uh, one hour gaming length. Um, it's ad supported. Then you've got priority, which for one month is £9.99. Uh, six hour length, 1080p resolution, up to 60 frames per second. And then six months is £49.99. And then the ultimate, one month, £19.99, quite expensive. That's eight hour session, 4K resolution, up to 120 frames per second or the six month version is 100 pounds. You can also do day passes. Uh, so for a three pound 99, you can skip the queue and get a six hour session length, 1080p resolution, 60 frames per second, or you can go 7.99 to get the 4K resolution, 120 frames per second. Um, so it's up to you if you go for the free version like I am, you have to wait a little while to get on board. You can see I'm number 55 in the queue and I'll show you the gameplay once we get there. So you can see it's just loading in now. Uh, now, GeForce Now is a cloud gaming service. So that's why you can use the Raspberry Pi to play the games. Now, all you'll need is a reasonably decent um, broadband connection. So um, I've got 50, uh, 55 megabytes here. Um, you'll see that I'm recording using my phone because I don't want OBS taking up any of the power of the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to use my phone to do the recording. You can see it says let's go so we're going to do that and you can see it's gone full screen straight away and i've plugged in a xbox 360 controller and here we are in the game so i'm going to play zero build and i'll play a solo match um you can see i've played one game already and i've got a golden crown so that proves that it's responsive enough that even though you're using cloud gaming you can still aim and shoot and kill other people. I'm using uh, a test account, I'm not using my real um, Epic Games account for this. somewhere remote so I don't want to die too quickly obviously uh, otherwise the demo of this game is not going to be very good Most people will pick up a weapon first. Um, I'm a little bit different to most people. You see the game's playing pretty well. Obviously you'll see how well it plays once I actually find able to fight against.
I can only assume that's a bot because of how easy they were to kill. See that Fortnite is entirely playable on the Raspberry Pi using GeForce Now. So GeForce Now isn't the only um, streaming gaming service. If you've got an Amazon account, you can also use Amazon Luna, which I will show you now. starting point is a little bit choppier than it was with GeForce now. I definitely don't have the control I have with GeForce now. You can see I, I'm not going anywhere where I think I want to be going. I'd like to land somewhere where there's going to be a weapon. in control of the game at all.
can see how choppy it is. The controller is unresponsive. And whilst I could win on GeForce now, there's no way I'm going to be winning using this. So on a pure test, GeForce now wins. This is something I'll keep trying out, see if there's any settings I can lower to make it better. We'll see if there's a better browser for compatibility. It did say about our hardware set acceleration as well, which obviously I'm not doing. So I tried lowering the graphics to see if it makes it any better. We'll see, I'm definitely getting better in terms of control. Now it does say in the guide that you should use Chrome really as your browser, but for some reason don't have that access on ARM devices. And yes, we've got problems. There is no control at all, and I'm about to die. The only reason I'm not dying yet is because I can't control it, so I'm pretty sure they're confused as I am. So there you have it. So there you have it. Fortnite on the Raspberry Pi. It is possible via Luna and via GeForce Now. GeForce Now is a lot better than uh, Luna. Um, but uh, that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.